Hey guys, it's Miss Brandy from the Hillview Branch Library of the Bullock County Public Library System. And today we are gonna take a regular picture frame and turn it into something really fun that we wanna display. And you can use this as a picture frame or you can use it as a dry erase board. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need some glitter. This is optional for some of you, for me it's not. Some dry erase markers, a picture frame, whatever type of picture frame you want. You are gonna need some sequins. And you can do whatever type of sequence you want. I did dinosaurs, you can do whatever shapes, you can do circles, you can do whatever you want. And then you're also gonna need some glue. And what I did is I took some regular glue and I watered it down and we'll use that for the glitter. But also some hot glue or some glue dots even can work to put the sequence on. I went ahead and used the same glue mixture for the sequence as well. So it's just whatever you want to do, depending on what ages you're doing it with, depends on what type of glue you probably want to use. So this is the glue mixture. Again, I just took glue, put a little bit of water in it, and we're going to go ahead and start spreading that across the picture frame. And I am going to speed it up a little bit because you all don't want to sit here and see every single stroke I do. And I'm going to cover the whole picture frame. This picture frame I just picked up from the Dollar Tree. So all you need is a cheap picture frame you got running, lying around the house will work. If you got one that's old, that's kind of what the glitter is for. You could also use acrylic paint instead of the glitter to just kind of cover it up. So I'm going to grab a glitter and I'm going to sprinkle it on. And I kind of wanted to give it that copper fill just in case any of this copper background does come out. So I'm going to do like three different colors and I'm going to mix them all together just to kind of hide if any of that background does come out. And it's going to be a very pretty sparkly frame. So I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a piece of construction paper. I should have started with that and throw it underneath and that's just to catch all the loose glitter. But I'm going to do the next part of the frame. Same thing. We just want to get it all nice and covered. And as you can see, I'm moving a lot so my camera is focusing in and out. I do apologize for that. So I clean it up a little bit. You're going to want to just wait till the end if you're dealing with glitter. We all know this. Keep doing it. And you can already see how it's already kind of hiding the background. So that's why it will work on like an old frame. We're going to cover it all up anyways. And you can always, if you're not happy with this when you're done, you can always put another layer of glitter on it or as many layers of glitter as you want. It doesn't have to just be the one. We're just going to sprinkle more of the glitter. And these little pockets, you can get at Walmart, you can get at Amazon. And this is what it looks like when we're there. Okay, I'm going to use the same glue. Again, you can use glue dots here or you can use a hot glue gun. If you have older kids who you are okay with using a hot glue gun, go ahead and do that because it's going to stick better. But I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to glue these down. And I'm going to glue them down all around. And the reason we're doing this is we're going to give it that dinosaur effect. It just gives it another layer of coolness. And again, whatever sequence you all have, feel free to use. And I went ahead and finished off camera because it was taking a little while. And as you can see, it turns into a dry erase board. But here's what my final product looked like. I just put sequins all around. And look at how cool that looks. So I'm putting on here our hashtag, hashtag BCPLIB. Please use this hashtag and tag us with your art. Thanks, guys. Until next time. Bye.